news and severe weather coverage. This is Fox 11 News at 5. Didn't matter how cold it was today, the firefighters in the Fox Valley were putting ice conditions to the test out on Lake Winnebago. Keyword today, test, because that's exactly what they were doing. But it included training both below and on top of the ice. Fox 11's Eric Peterson has gone from the ice of Lake Winnebago to the ice on the Fox 11 ice desk. And good evening, Eric. It's uh, training, though, for when every second counts. That's right, Tom. Medical experts say it only takes three or four minutes before someone can become unconscious underwater and brain damage can set in in about 10 minutes. That's why firefighters from Nina Menasha Fire Rescue say today's drill is critical. The simulated call came in about 1030 Tuesday morning at Kimberly Point Park in Nina. Report of two fishermen in the water approximately 100 yards off from the lighthouse. By the time our crews arrived, it was known that there was still one person hanging on to the edge of the ice. At that point, we deployed our surface rescue crews. They went out there, they were able to extricate that victim, brought him back to shore. But the scenario included a second fisherman. Be prepared to deploy the divers. We do have one victim confirmed under the water. The rescue boat shuttled equipment and crew to the hole in the ice. It gets us out there. It's, uh, it's very safe to be in. Um, it floats, it goes over snow, ice. We can climb ice shelves with it if we need to. We deployed our divers. They arrived in the scene and were able to get the victim pulled out uh, within a couple of minutes after entering the water. Assistant Fire Chief Mike Sippen says the exercise is good training for the dive team formed only a few years ago. The more exposure and repetition they get to these conditions, the more comfortable they become with going in there. It almost becomes second nature. It's an exercise for the department on a part of the lake with ice conditions that are far from safe. Well, you've got open water, you've got uh, the Nina Menasha channels, so uh, you know those those are never safe. There's always moving water underneath those that ice, so always exercise caution. Now the Nina Menasha Fire Department will evaluate today's exercise, which took about 25 minutes from the initial call to the time when they pulled the second victim out of the ice. The department conducts six practice dives throughout the year, including two under the ice. Tom.